welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Akash and I'm here to guide you with the steps that I took when I was trying to get a QA offer from India. My journey in getting three test automation offers from India itself might help you and it might give you a head start. What I'm going to share you right here is what matters when you start applying from India and what matters for you when you're looking into a job. As a brief introduction, I'm Akash. I have 10 years of experience working in quality assurance field. I started my journey as a manual QA and now I'm working as a full stack test automation QA. Let me give you some ideas when you're starting to search from a job from India. The first thing that will come to your mind, why exactly you should start, what you might expect if you start and how much it is different from India. What is the journey? What are the hurdles? What are the bottlenecks? And what exactly you will get if you cross all of these? So first thing first, what to expect and why to move. You might be thinking what exactly is this, why you should start applying from India and it is not a specific to QA, you are a Java developer, you are a front end developer. The first point is, is a soft benefit I would say. It's not your financial gain, it's not your asset gain, it's your soft benefit that is work life balance. For a lot of people it matters. If you spend 8 hours in office, then you want to detach yourself once you leave the office. This is not a very easy thing in India because companies are in competition head to head. But coming back to Germany, this is a given thing. You have to have a work life balance. It's like a legal contract. If you have 40 hours a week, then it's 40 hours a week. The second point is financial gains. So what exactly is the financial gain? How much you will make? There is a predefined pay scale that you will probably end up getting. Possibly when you're starting from India as a beginner, either you're a Java developer, you are a UI developer or you're a test automation QA. You might start somewhere from let's say 60k. It's a roughly hypothetical figure. You might start with let's say 60k euros per year. After all the deductions, let's say 40 to 41% tax. Again, if you're married or not married, the calculations will different. But let's say roughly 41% of tax you deduct. And then you get somewhere around 3000 euros in your hand. This would be somewhere around 2.67 lakhs per month. You have to consider that this is per month. After all the deductions, let's say rent, if you're living in sharing, if you're living in a really VIP apartment, that's a totally different story. But if you're living in sharing, you might end up sending somewhere around 1 lakhs in your account, totally saved. It's like 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50,000, I would say, end of the month, after all the deductions, living in Berlin. This would make it somewhere around 33 lakhs per annum, let's say. This is in-hand income. And this is your entry-level job, 60k, which is a very entry-level salary. After 2-3 years in Germany, you might end up getting let's say 75k. 75k will, again, you can do all the calculations, 40-40% to 40 tax, let's say 6 to 700 euros rent. You can do the math, right? Next thing, quality of life. What exactly is different in terms of quality of life? Of course, it is better in developed countries as compared to any underdeveloping countries. It doesn't matter if you're comparing with India. You can compare with any underdeveloping countries. It would be better. Now, the next thing would be the diverse experience. If you're applying in a company which is ready to hire you from India, there is a possibility they have hired a lot of people, not only from India, maybe from Middle East, Asia, then you will get a lot of people to work with from different culture. So this makes it a diverse work culture experience. If you are interested in this aspect, then it is a fair point. Otherwise, maybe financial gain is enough to make a switch, right? Now, the next thing is tech stack. If you are a Java developer, if you are a front end developer, or if you are a QA, full stack QA, test automation QA, then there is a certain tech stack that you at least know. For front-end developers, it's industry-wise common. It's not only specific to India. You have to know React, Angular, JS, TS, a lot of stuff. Then coming back to the backend developer, if you're in Java, Spring Boot, Kafka, RabbitMQ, theory of microservices, scalable application experience, not only theory. If you're coming back to QA, the field that I am in, in UI automation, you will probably end up having some common experience around Cypress. This is a very famous tool, of course, because it is TypeScript and JavaScript based. And then after this playwright, it is very slowly, slowly catching up with Cypress and slowly, slowly killing it. Then if a company is not using both of them, maybe they will using Selenium with Java or maybe Selenium with JavaScript. Again, Python is as common as JavaScript, but I will again say having JavaScript, Python and TypeScript in your tech skills, it's more than enough to crack an offer. If you're API testing profile, if you're focused on backend testing mostly, you can focus on rest assured with Java, which is the most common tool I would say. Again, if you're a developer and if you're focusing to get a job in development field, your competition is a with very big market. People from Tunisia, Middle East, Pakistan, Iran, everyone is applying because they all need a job offer somehow to reach here. It doesn't even matter what salary you offer. 
So your competitiveness should be really strong in this field if you are specifically in development. Now the next point in my list is, is German required? Well, it depends. The companies which are hiring from India in IT, of course, they have international work culture, right? Otherwise, why would they hire someone from India? The next thing when they are hiring from India or let's say Middle East or even outside Germany, then the requirement for German is not a prerequisite. You cannot assume that somebody in India will know German. But if for some reason you know B1, B2, that is more than enough. I had no German experience. My thumb rule was as long as the job description is in English, it is open for me. Unless you end up getting a job description which is written in German, of course there is no chance. Do not even apply there. Now the next point is very specific to QA. What exactly you should have so that you can start applying? What is the baseline? You shouldn't be below that. And what is the baseline that you have? Then it's awesome. So when you're applying from India, just to cut the competition, you just cannot say I'm an API test automation QA or I just focus on iOS. That is your kind of limiting yourself. Imagine thousands or maybe more than 5,000 or maybe 2,000 people applying from India. They are just casually applying. They are not even serious for this job, but they have some openness, some flexibility. While at the same time you are saying I'm an iOS QA or I'm an Android QA, then you're limiting, limiting, limiting your chances to a level where you might not even clear the ATS, which is your resume scanning machine. So who gets a better chance? If you are open to learn more technologies, you are not predefined by yourself. Like I'm at this QA, I'm at that QA. You're a software tester. You're given a chance for front end, you will do this. You're given a chance to mobile testing, you will do this. Maybe not as specific to mobile testing that you might have to learn something, but at least API and front end is must to have in a single person. Nobody is going to hire two QAs internationally for doing front end and back end. You should know both of them. Again, this is might be my personal belief, but if you're doing something, you must be good in it. There is no option to say, okay, I know API testing, but still I do not see the logs of server. I know front end testing, but I'm not that good at understanding JavaScript. To understanding from JavaScript, I mean, you can at least understand the logic. Okay, this might end up throwing some error. You should be enough to see some console log, some JavaScript errors. You should be able to understand the exceptions of what API is throwing if you're an API tester. Copy the curl from browser, check the network logs, do it from terminal or from postman. You know, this particular exception is thrown because language has this particular error in the code. It's not gonna work if you say, okay, I do the testing. I don't care what happens in the backend. Or I do the backend testing and I don't care what happens in front end or what happens at the Android or iOS side. This is kind of a feature that nobody will like in Germany, at least in Germany. It's like, I know how to drive a car. I don't care about tires at all. So make sure that you are flexible. Make sure you want to uplift in your career. When you're switching to a new country, it's a big thing. You're changing your entire career. Once you switch here, then you realize, okay, this is not for me. It's not just a one day undo step. You will have to change a lot of things. You will have to go back to India, justify a lot of things to yourself, to your next company. So why not just prepare yourself before? Like I am flexible. I can switch to more tech stack. I can do multiple things and I'm responsible for what I'm doing. I know what exactly what I'm doing. These are the kind of soft skills that everyone would look for. Now keeping this video short, I'm going to end it right here, but I have a list so that the, you can understand what exactly is the journey, where to start, what to do first, what not to do first. I have a certain list of questions, where to start, where to search for job, how to make your resume, what to add in your resume, how to make it keyword rich, how to make it more appealing and it's still at the same time, keep it short. So I'm going to cover these topics in the next video. The idea of this video was to start a series of these videos so that you can understand how it might help you. Leave comments, leave questions. I'm going to answer all of them. Thanks for joining.